Are we live? Yes. Hi, Brock Brockerman, BNN News. Hope everyone is doing well out there. We wanted to check in. Uh, this week's nonprofit community showcase uh, to, is to benefit UNCW Plastic Ocean Project. Uh, we don't know if you're familiar with them or not, but uh, we have a very special guest here to uh, to tell us a little bit about the Plastic Ocean Project. Sam Shores, everybody. Hey everyone, my name is Sam Shores. I am the president of the UNCW student chapter of the Plastic Ocean Project. So Plastic Ocean Project is a national nonprofit 501c3 based right here in Wilmington, North Carolina. And our mission is to reduce and eliminate single use plastic through active cleanups on our beaches and waterways, as well as reaching out to our community through educational outreach in elementary schools all the way up to high school opportunity and doing student research and uh, citizen science um, as well as trying to actively raise awareness whether that's through film and through videography or through plastics to art campaigns and hosting regular events in our community to try and bring this issue uh, to the forefront of everyone's minds. Uh, Sam, yes, uh, great. Uh, so what would you say the number one way people can uh, contribute to uh, reduce their, their, uh, their plastic waste would be? So I would say the number one thing that you can do to reduce plastic usage and waste is to shop locally. So supporting those small businesses that are in your own town and city that really, really do make a difference. Because if you can support small business and stuff that's handcrafted or farmed locally or made by hand, um, any of those different ways that support small business, you drastically reduce either the shipping time to get products over there, you reduce the packaging, especially if you go to a farmer's market or bring your own bag, um, and also supporting clothes that are made by hand locally. Supporting those things will have a massive amount of positive impacts in other industries. And it also helps strengthen the local economy, which is huge, especially during this period of history uh, that we're experiencing with the coronavirus. Um, and one other thing, I know this is sort of a second thing, but is also be mindful about plastic. I would say that's the biggest change you can make is to start looking at ways that you can turn whatever plastic waste, whether that's a plastic bag or a straw or a to-go container into something that you find an alternative for, whether that's Tupperware or a reusable option. And by doing so, you can also kind of bring that to your local businesses and try and support that, which is a huge change to make. Oh, that's great. So uh, if you had one favorite sea creature, and I know it's tough to pick favorites, but if you had one, uh, what would that be? So, what's my favorite sea creature? That's a great question because I love them all. But I would have to say that my favorite sea creature is probably the manta ray. I had the awesome opportunity uh, back in September to go to Hope Spot Hatteras with Plastic Ocean Project. And I got to swim with one um, in the open water by the Gulf Stream. And they are such beautiful and elegant creatures. And I think they are just amazing. Ah, interesting choice. Well, uh, just one more question. Uh, have you ever seen a sea cucumber? So I have seen a sea cucumber. At first, I had no idea what it was, and to be completely honest, I thought it was actually just a piece of trash. Um, and I went to go pick it up, and I realized that it was definitely a sea cucumber, and they're very fun and interesting creatures, but I have seen one. I remember that night. I saw him swimming. Oh, hey, wait a minute. Who are you calling trash? <laughs> that Sammy seems like a pretty cool guy. All right, well, make sure you tune in this week for the auction and check out all the specials and all the art. Art! <laughs> Lots of cool stuff. All right, guys, tune in. We'll see you soon. All right, bye-bye.